So Clostridium is a pathogen that is ubiquitous. It's present everywhere on the ground, on the surface of materials, or it's part of the normal microflora of animals. It's an infectious disease, uh, but it's not contagious. That means that the sick animal does not infect the healthy animal. The animals uh, get the infection, the, this bacteria, from the environment, basically. And uh, it is a toxin infection. So it's, it, the Clostridium produces some toxins, and those toxins are responsible for an, a variety of clinical signs. Those signs can be grouped in three. Neurological disease, uh, histologic, and uh, gastrointestinal disease. Yes, of course, so these three categories group well the huge variety of clinical signs. The, the neurotropism of uh, the Clostridium tetani, which causes uh, these uh, consequences at, at uh, nervous level. Okay. The lethality is high of, the, of this infection and is, is usually associated with tail docking, castration, branding, etc. It's occasional but so serious, it's lethal. The second group is the histolytic, and those are the Clostridium, which produce uh, damage at, at tissue level. Usually, a good example is Clostridium chavoy, which produces black leg, and that's a, a, a very severe necrosis that appears in the big mm, muscle mass of uh, fast-growing animals, and that's, uh, that's uh, really fast in, in occurrence, and, okay, uh, almost impossible to stop. And the third group is the gastrointestinal. There is a uh, again is a is a wide variety of Clostridium. Usually, mm, very important the the Clostridium uh, perfringens. Uh, there are a number of those uh, that produces as perfringens type B. As example, produces lung dysentery. That's a serious disease affecting very young lungs uh, shortly after birth. Uh, and the toxin, the beta toxin, uh, produces necrosis at the int uh, intestinal level. Um, Another good example is, uh, is a permagist type D, producing pulpy kidney in older animals and also adults. Uh, uh, and uh, most of the times, well, the only thing we see is just uh, sudden death. Animals are, are found dead, right? So th there is a wide variety of those signs. So this is a very important question. Um, as the disease is so uh, fast and difficult to control, prevention is the key subject. Uh, we have to think about uh, how the flock is managed, so avoid overcrowding, uh, etc. So availability of food and water or the warming regimes and things like that are, are really important. A specific attention to uh, the lambing area, so uh, assuring that the Climbing pen is important because that optimizes the, 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 the rate of uh, the way that immunity to the newborn is transferred. That's also important. Immunity against Clostridium is also transferred through that. Uh, nutrition is the, the type of cereals that are used in the ration and also the, the transition between those rations. So to avoid uh, nutritional or digestive stress in those animals and uh, also uh, prevention through vaccination. So using a complete vaccine which contains all the toxoids, uh, uh, that's important. The vaccination regime, uh, once, twice a year, depending on the, the farm situation. Vaccination be, be, just before uh, birth, uh, in the case the problem is in the newborns, um, and vaccinating the whole flock, that's, that's also very important. So not only groups of animals, that whole flock should be vaccinated. All that is important to control cross-studiosis.